Queensland will reopen its borders to all fully vaccinated interstate travellers on Monday, four days ahead of schedule. Joining me now live to discuss is Queensland Tourism Industry Council CEO Daniel Gershwin. Daniel, good afternoon. Thank you for joining me. Is the industry ready for interstate travellers? Well, we've been preparing for this for some time, Danica, and we're certainly looking forward to welcoming many of you from the south into the Sunshine State and uh, showing you a good time. So we can't wait. It's not coming any a day too soon. And uh, we're certainly very pleased that the government stuck with the roadmap and is now opening the borders. I'm sure many travellers are looking forward to going back to the Sunshine State as well. What's been the booking? What are the bookings been like so far? Well, when the... Uh, 17th of December was announced as a prospective date for a border opening. We know from the airlines that the bookings absolutely spiked. Inquiries for multiple destinations in Queensland went through the roof. Accommodation providers reported strong bookings then. And since the confirmation of the, in fact, earlier date now, that uh, those bookings have continued to grow very substantially. And we're absolutely looking, for, uh, looking forward to a great summer season, holiday season over Christmas. And it's something that we all deserve. We deserve a break as far as customers are concerned. And uh, businesses deserve a break in terms of business. So has there at all been any hesitation from domestic travellers worried that there could potentially be border changes? Or are you finding people are increasingly confident? Well, Danica, I think that is the biggest hurdle we have to overcome, that reluctance, that, uh, that doubt in people's mind. We have had two years of disaster news, two years of changing rules, complicated rules and obviously border closures and lockdowns. So, yes, we are all a bit spooked, I suppose, about what might lie ahead. But I think each step we take, including this one here, is one that should build confidence and should give uh, everybody uh, the, the, uh, look, an outlook that uh, is more uh, certain and allows us to get back to our lives and move about as we did before. What are staffing levels like in the industry? I know at the moment, uh, foreign workers, it's been a bit of a difficulty getting them back to Australia, but what's the current situation? We have plenty of jobs. We not only have great holidays on offer, we have great jobs on offer. So anybody who is thinking of coming up a bit longer than the average holiday, we're certainly happy to find them a job. There are, like across Australia, many, many vacancies. We need to fill those. As you say, we lost our international students. We lost our international uh, skilled migrants. We lost the working holiday visa makers. There are many gaps uh, that we have to fill, and we have to just work that bit harder. But uh, as I said, anybody interested in coming up, the Queensland government has an incentive program, uh, Work in Paradise, going on. So uh, if you're really interested in a job, we'll find you one in Queensland. Well, uh, is that going to be enough? Do you think is there enough time to accommodate what's been about six months of border closures? Is there enough time to prepare? Well, look, we'll have to make it work. We're certainly ready. I mean, our staff, our businesses, they have been uh, eagerly looking forward to this day and we can't wait for it to happen. And we'll be welcoming everybody with open arms. As you mentioned, there's been a number of flights booked already for the Christmas and school holiday period. How long do you think it will take to reap the losses of the past two years of the pandemic? Well, that is a big question. You know, tourism is a perishable good. Once the season is gone, the season is gone. So we know from official statistics, federal statistics, that like Queensland over the two years of the COVID pandemic has lost in the vicinity of $20 billion in tourism revenue, $20 billion. That's a very big number. And it's uh, shared amongst tens of thousands of businesses who really had to dig deep to survive. And we're trying to now make up for some of that lost ground. The summer season ahead of us should deliver a strong domestic market. We still have no international visitors, of course. That's the period when we have to show off to our domestic visitors from both in Queensland itself, but also from interstate, that we have the product to offer, that we can match it with international destination and convince them to keep coming to our domestic destinations across Australia and support the industry locally. Just finally, Daniel, have you got a message for tourists? Come on up. We can't wait to see you. We've uh, been playing, preparing uh, for a long time and we can't wait to show you a good time. There are so many different experiences to be had, so many destinations to, to uh, experience up here. We can't wait to see you. Absolutely. Daniel Gershwin, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you, Danica.